Let me introduce to you our next presenter for this afternoon. He finished his Bachelor of Arts degree in Philosophy at San Carlos Seminary College, Cebu City. He is currently finishing his Master's of Arts in Philosophy degree at the University of San Carlos. He is currently the assistant to the director of the USC Cebuano Studies Center and has worked on several projects in Cebuano culture, heritage, and the arts. He is a member of the Mamugnaong Anak sa Dagang, Inc., and in other words, Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Mr. Rafael Dean Polinar. A round of applause, please. Good afternoon, everyone. So my teaching module uh, is on preparing the herbal medicine, which is the ALS oil, Ahos Luia Sili. Okay, uh, next slide, please. So as an overview for this module, uh, herbal medicine is prevalent in our culture. And before modern medicine was available and accessible, ailments were remedied by herbal medicine practices. So this is very common uh, also here in Cebu. And in this module, the students will learn how to make one of these herbal treatment or, or alternative medicine, the ALS oil. So most targets and discussions from this lesson uh, is taken from Health 10, uh, Quarter 1, Module 3, which is uh, complementary and alternative healthcare modalities. So this uh, module has a special focus on herbal medicine, which is the A ALS oil, which the students will also make the oil uh, at the end of the session. So this module will help students know, learn, and experience one of our cultural heritage, uh, herbal medicines, as also mentioned by one of our presenters. Next slide, please. So the learning objectives of this module is that uh, at the end of this module, the students are expected to know what are complementary and alternative medicines, identify herbal medicine approved by DOH, uh, know the indications where you you can use the ASL oil, prepare the ingredients for the oil, and finally make and prepare the oil. Next slide, please. So uh, the learning materials, uh, so we have uh, the guide to preparing the herbal medicine. So I got the procedures in making the LS oil from here. And also, as mentioned, the module for health on complementary and alternative healthcare modalities. And also there are online sources for the 10 approved DOH herbal medicines. Next slide, please. So the first part uh, will discuss about the complementary and alternative medicines. So uh, first thing, uh, give an activity to the students so that they will be uh, engaged at the start of the lesson. So as an example activity, so we have uh, the identification. So they will be asked to identify what kind of uh, alternative medicine or practices are there. So next slide, please. So after the activity, we will proceed with the discussion. So there uh, we will discuss about acupuncture. Uh, which is a form of energy medicine where long thin needles are inserted to specific parts of the body to affect the energy flow. Also, we have reflexology. So similar to acupuncture, reflexology focuses on treating specific disorders through massaging the palms and of the hand and the soles of the feet. Another is nutrition therapy, uh, appro which approaches treatment of a medical condition by providing a tailored diet for the patient. Next is acup acupressure. So acupressure also uses the same technique as of that of acupuncture. So the only difference is that uh, it doesn't use needles. So it apply to pressure points of the body. And finally is the ventosa cupping massage therapy, uh, which, which is done by placing inverted glasses that have flames from burning cotton on specific points in the body. So it is believed to relieve muscle and joint pains. Then next, we'll be, uh, we will be discussing about herbal medicines. 
So similarly to the first part, uh, we will give students uh, another activity first. So here are the two, four, six, eight, the ten approved DOH um, herbs. So so the first one, so for relief from body and aches and pain. Next slide, please. So we have the yerba buena. Next is for mouthwash, chango bat, and next for urinary stones, sambong, and then for uses as antiseptic to disinfect wounds, we have bayabas, and for cough and asthma, lagundi, and for intestinal worms, particular ascaris and trichina, nyung yugan, and then for blood pressure, bawang, and ampalaya. Next is we have for arthritis and gout, pansit pansitan, and finally for for ringworm and other skin infections, we have acapulco. So these are the ten uh, approved DOH herbs. So uh, more discussions can be found also in the internet. There are also slide shares um, citing how to prepare these herbs for medicinal use. Next slide, please. So uh, we continue with the discussion uh, as complementary and alternative medicines are treatments that are applied along with typical and accepted medical treatments, but are not considered standard. So these include herbal medicine, magnetic fields, nutrition therapy, acupressure, movement therapy, and mental exercises, and others. So the four major domains of these alternative and complementary medicines are biology-based practices, energy medicine, manipulative and body-based practices, and mind-body medicine. So as an example, for biologically-based practices are the herbal medicines. For energy medicines, uh, they use uh, magnetic fields, uh, which they also call biofields. And then for the manipulative and body-based practices are body kinesthetic, uh, they are concerned with movement therapy. We also include here the massages and acupuncture, acupressures. And for the mind-body medicines, they use mental exercises in belief that the brain is central to health. So as mentioned, uh, the 10 herbs uh, will also be discussed uh, with the students. Next slide, please. And so uh, after the discussions, uh, Give them also another activity so that uh, they will remember the words well, the, the terms which are important to the module. So we have sample word search, so we can also give them other activities uh, which can also help them uh, be reminded about the alternative medicines and complementary healthcare. Next slide, please. So finally is the A. ALS oil. So we will ask the students to prepare the ingredients and also make the L L ALS oil. Next slide, please. So here we have the indications. So this is for muscle and joint pains uh, for external use only. And they also said that it may be also be used to treat wounds. It is recommended for adults only and not for children because its application to wounds may cause pain. So the basic uh, ingredients is one cup of thinly chopped or cut, cut garlic, one cup of thinly chopped or cut ginger, one cup of crushed capsicum or the sili, sili kulikot, uh, the red one, katunga gagmay, and then three cups of cooking oil. So its ratio is for each cup of the ingredient uh, you have also a cup for the cooking oil. Next, please. So as a procedure, uh, first remove, uh, you prepare the ingredients, you remove the peels of the garlic, then slice it to small pieces or mince them and then measure. Next is you wash thoroughly the ginger and then slice to thin pieces and then measure. And finally for the sili, uh, you have to clean, wash, drain, and crush the hot chili and measure. But you have to be careful because uh, the it's spicy and then dili siya matangtang dayon sa kamot. It's difficult to remove them, so it might hurt your eyes if you accidentally touch your eyes. And uh, make sure to keep the children away when doing this. 
And the next is heat the required amount of oil, which is the five cups and kneaded herbs, and boil in moderate heat for five to 10 minutes or until the water from the herbs has dried. Uh, remove from fire and cool down a bit and strain. Place in a clean, dry, and tightly covered bottle. Label properly, which includes the name of the herbal medicine, indications, how to use it, production, and expiry date. So the oil can last for up to six months or more. And then, um, so for uh, next slide, please. Uh, for my sample for creating the oil, I only used half of the measurements, so one half of each ingredients and one and a half cup of oil. So most of the herbal medicines are boiled or used with oil. So uh, it's quite a simple uh, procedure. So you just mix everything up and then you boil them, then strain, and then you can have it cool down and can be stored. So here is a sample of the oil. So So thank you and good afternoon. Thank you very much, Mr. Polinar, for that awesome presentation. Through your talk, I am sure everyone in this room has been more enlightened about complementary, alternative, and herbal medicine, more so on the ones which were approved by DOH. Also, the ALS oil is definitely something we can make just right from our own kitchen. And I know everyone in this room would agree that the video that was, previ that was previously seen was very, very lingao. Once again, thank you very much, Mr. Polinar. A round of applause, please. <laughs> 